Welcome to World Sports News and Comments with Ernie. Behind the desk is your co-host, Ernie. And on top of the desk is his faithful companion, who he calls the rubber ducky. We call him Felix on Sports News Review. Alrighty, Ernie. Looks all exciting for the start of netball coming to the final. And we're going to start with netball. The Women's League, it's in England, and they are having the final coming up this weekend. Uh, is it this weekend? Yes. And Australia is almost uh, close to wrapping up their season. But first we'll go to Netball Women's League. It's the Netball Super League in England. Alrighty, Ernie, I got the old tablet all warmed up, ready to go. And we're all good to go here now. And we got first game. Okay, so we'll start with the Netball Women's uh, England. At this, and it's the Netball Super League. Ernie, we've been following it all season. And I never got a chance to watch any one of the games. I was, I was kind of hoping I would catch the semifinal. But I got one last chance to catch a uh, Netball Super League Women's game. This weekend coming up is the final. I hope I, I want to catch that at least. No. We'll go to the semi-final results. Well, just for folks, to, if they, anyone came in on this episode and hasn't seen the previous episodes we've been covering netball, the uh, Netball Super League in England uh, had a, what was it, like a 18 round, if I, let me take a look carefully. I mean, okay, is it 18 rounds? Looking now, let's see. Okay, so fixtures, yeah, round. Okay, so, Looking at it now, it was eight. It was yeah, eighteen rounds. Okay, so last week was the sem. Uh, this weekend past this just came up was the semifinal, and before that was round eighteen. That was the last. Uh, so uh, the semifinal. Now we only had uh, it was eight. It's an eight league team as as you know, Ernie. So the semifinal only has uh, four teams in the semifinal out of the eight and there was two games and they were both uh, played over the weekend and we had the okay oh I went, oh, what happened here I ended up okay I ended up at the beginning of the rounds okay round okay so we're gonna go back to semifinal because that was I had an all A L L. Okay. Okay. So the uh, first game, it was I, I'm pretty. Sure, was it the Manchester Thunder came in first place? Yes, the Manchester Thunder came in first place. Let's see. The, 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 or is it Lo no? The Lowborough Lightning came in first. But either way, I knew the man. I had a feeling Manchester Thunder was going to win this game uh, over the uh, Severn Stars. So it was the Manchester, the first game was the Manchester Thunder and the Severn Stars. And the Manchester Thunder won the game 63 to 54. So it was Manchester Thunder 63 and the Severn Stars 54. Okay, so yeah, I, I knew those were the next game. I knew those, the, the, the Longborough Lightning, they, they were a really good team. And. It's going to be a really good final because you got okay because the Longboro Lightning had their match with the London Pulse, and uh, they like the London Pulse. They came up, to, you know. Remember, Ernie? They were struggling in the beginning, and then I, they weren't even in the middle of the pack yet, team. And then they just got together and started making a good run for it. But they're running up a good, you know, against a good team, the Longboro Lightning. The Longboro Lightning were a good team all season. So was the Manchester Thunder. A really good team all season. And so the Longboro Lightning won that game 59-47 to 47 over the London Pulse. Now, that's when we get our uh, final game coming up. Yeah, the, the final is coming up. The Netball Super League final. It's the Manchester Thunder and the Longboro Lightning. It's June 29th at 1.30 p.m. 
EDT. So that's our time, uh, Ernie. And that's from the previous results of, once again, the Manchester Thunder, it was 63, and the Severn Stars, 54. And then the Longborough Lightning, 59, and the London Pulse, 47. Now, that's the final. That's the super final. Like, that is the championship final game. But there is a, another matchup, which will, which will feature the Severn Stars and the London Pulse. So they'll be playing, I guess, what we call the consolation prize here. But uh, So the uh, that will be the game before this one. But this is the big one. If, uh, if I'm gonna miss, if I, I well, if I'm gonna miss a game, I'd like to not miss any game. But I don't want to miss. I'd like to watch this game right there. That's on the board now. That's got up on the board. The uh, and Manchester Thunder and the Lowborough Lightning. It's the Netball Super League Women's Division final. That's the that's the grand final. And the game before that is the one with the uh, Severn Stars and the London Pulse. And well, Ernie, I just knew that the way the season was going, it seemed like inevitable that these two teams were uh, going to be meeting in the grand final. And what I'll do, I'll do it is uh, look it up real quick and to just to give a, 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 a just a, like what ha like the whole league perspective right now because so we're going to uh, go at the uh, tables here and okay let's see so that, that was the tables and it was uh, so it looks like there was Well, 18 games was played. Okay, so 18 games were played. And... Well, and, uh, the, uh, ended up with... The uh, first place team ended up was Manchester Thunder with 54 points. The Lower Bro Lightning came in second, but they had 48 points. Then in third place was the London Pulse at 43 and the Severn Stars at 36. Now, the uh, Leeds Rhinos came in fifth. They were they were out of it. And then the Missouri Storm came in sixth. The Saracen Mavericks came in seventh. The Cardiff Dragons came in eighth. The Stride Clyde Sirens came in ninth. And the Team Bath Netball came in tenth. Oh, it was a 10-league team. Oh, schools. I, I said eight. Ernie earlier, I, I meant I should have said 10. 8 is the Australian uh, women's division, uh, and the uh, Suncor Super League is 8. Okay, so it's 10. So there were 10 teams all season. Two of them, two of them are like university teams. It seems like they uh, get a really good. Bo so maybe there's like without the universities, and I'm just looking to see. Yeah, I felt the universities. Yeah, there would probably be, might have been only eight teams, but either way, there's a ten team. It was a ten team league, not an eight team league. And the Manchester Thunder were were in first place overall. And yeah, so they're they're playing the Longborough Lightning, and that'll be for the grand once again for the for the championship we've been following her all season never any all season long we've been following it and uh we came up never thought it'd come to the final so close so quick and like where has the time gone you know it's just we uh we're ready we're i we're right we're already at the final okay and so it was, uh, like I said, I wish, I wish I would have seen one of the games. I was hoping to see one of the games, but I missed them. But this weekend at one thirty, I, I, I can't. Sorry, I see it's going to be the June the 29th. I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. I'll just, I'll just take a quick make sure it's Saturday. Maybe I should have put it on the board. S A T if it is Saturday. Or S U N if it's Sunday, but 
I just got to look where the date is. And the yes, it's going to be Saturday. Saturday is the 29th. Okay. Okay, so Saturday will be the final. Well, there'll be two games, but like, well, the other game is the. I, I think if uh, we call it like on this side of the globe, I think we call it a constellation. We don't even have those anymore, like for professional leagues, like say, like like this Super Netball professional. Um, we I don't if it was being played in uh, Canada or United States of America. I don't think they would have bothered with that second that other game. It seems to be more of a European thing, where they they they, they still uh, like uh, like like you know like world championships have that where they have the constellation like we you know like I said we call it, and they don't want to call it constellation. I don't know if they want to call it constellation prize or just it, it, in the World Cup. It's like the friendly, and like. It, it, if you're the fourth place, if you're like a really good team and and you didn't make it to the fi the, the final of the World Cup, my I'm thinking like, I, I would even care about playing in that last game. Not worth it. Uh, it's a totally meaningless game for like, you know, for it only builds up the ego of the a team that. Uh, not doing so well. That's about all it can do. Now, what it can do, like in this situation, is like they played a long season, and I guess it's like okay, to the to the uh, you know for the okay. So the the the, the, the uh, as I said, I'm looking at now. Let's see. Uh, oh, I gotta get back on. I gotta get back on the page. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, for the London Pulse and the the Seven Star, what was it the London Pulse and the, the Seven Stars? It's like okay, you can play one more game and uh, you, and uh, probably some prize money out of it. I'm gonna guess maybe a third place prize finish and a fourth place prize finish for this. Uh, well, I mean, it's a chance to make some money. I guess up. I guess okay. Because if you're the other teams, the other six teams, the, Le the Leeds Rhinos, Surrey Storms, Circuit Mavericks, Cardiff Dragons, Strike White Sirens, Team Math Netball, yeah, you, you, it's, that's it. Your your season's over, done with, and the last game, and that was it. That was it. That was all. And I can't wait. To see the results on that one, because I, I, I would like I said, if if, if I'm going to check the, I'm going to check the guide, Ernie, and if it's somehow on cable, I'm definitely taping of uh, V, you know, the DVR, the digital, uh, the video, uh, digital video, v, DVR, digital video recorder, and I'm definitely going to uh, record the game and watch it later, because it's at an odd time. I'm gonna miss it in the afternoon, and yeah, I definitely can't wait to come back home if I'm taking off that. I think I might be going that night. Even if I'm not, I'm still doing it. Then I can't wait to watch it Saturday night, and uh, that would be awesome. I don't want to hear. Of course, I won't find out the results, and but that would be just awesome to uh, be able to catch a game, at least a game. Is it? I've missed them. I've missed them all season long. Okay, we're gonna go to the other league now. The netball, uh, Aust uh, it's the SunCorp Super League in Australia. Alrighty, Ernie, I got the old tablet on the uh, SunCorp Super uh, Netball League, and right now I'm looking. Okay, it will be round eleven. Okay, so. Round 11 is, we'll start off with the Queensland Firebirds, 78, and the West Coast Fever, 70. Hmm, I, I thought the West Coast Fever would have won that game, but it's, it looks like the Queensland Firebirds are up and coming. Okay, so that's, so we're now, just to remind folks that, it's the Netball uh, Suncar Super League. It's the women's division. 
in Australia. That's the eight league team, eight t uh, eight teams in the league, and four will make the uh, semifinals, to, and then only one will make it. Uh, then two teams to the final, and then this is round eleven of. Okay, we got. Uh, let's see. I th okay, but let's see. Round. Yeah, we're in round eleven right now. And I just mentioned that the Queensland Firebirds won won their match over the West Coast Fever, so Queensland Firebirds seventy eight, and the West Coast Fever seventy. Okay, now let's see. Okay, the Adelaide Thunderbirds are really uh, Melbourne Mavericks. Okay, the Adelaide Thunderbirds won. Huge over the uh, Melbourne Mavericks. They had the Thunderbirds 67, the Melbourne Mavericks uh, 41. Okay. And then the I'm starting to see our new patterns going. Uh, Vixens, Thunderbirds, yeah, they're doing well. The Vixens did really well. They they won their match over the New South Wales Swift, New South Wales, the NSW Swifts. So the Melbourne Vixens uh, score was 69 and only 49 for the NSW Swifts. And I knew they were going to win that one. I, 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 have, I think I predicted it earlier, earlier last week. Okay. Not to be outdone by the other Lightning once again. The Sunshine Coast Lightning, 71. And then the Giants Netball, 66. It looks like the Sun Coast. It seems like the Giant Snapball, the NSW Swifts, and the Mavericks are are pretty well. Then uh, I'll look at the final. We'll look. We got one more game, and then we'll, let's see. Round one, two, three. This should be fourth one. Okay, well, did I do? Or did I do four already? Yes, I did. Four, four of them already. Okay, it's so it's so go so quick. Okay, so okay, those are the four. Now, I'm gonna s look at the ladder because let's see what the standings are. And the, we usually call it the standings, but that's I'm now I'm starting to hang of it. You gotta call, call it the ladder, and now get me. Okay, so if. Ernie, if the um, and if the season was to end right now, the four teams that would be going to the semifinals would be out of four of the eight teams would be the Melbourne Vixens, the Adelaide Thunderbirds, West Coast Fever, and the Sunshine Coast Lightning. So with eleven all played, okay, the Melbourne Vixens. Have won ten, so and lost one. Okay, so the Vixens only lost one so far. Okay, yeah, they're, so they're number one. The Adelaide Thunderbirds have only lost twice. They have won eight games, and they've lost oh three. Sorry, through eleven. Sorry, through 11 games, the Mel... Okay, we'll start, I'll start over, because uh, just to make sure I did it correctly. The Melbourne Vixens, after 11 games, have won 10 and lost one game. So they're at 40 points. Okay. And then the... Adelaide Thunderbirds, through 11 games, they'll be all through 11 games, have won 8 and have lost... Three, okay. The West Coast Fever have through eleven games have also won eight and lost three. Oh, they're tied. Okay, so they're tied. They're they're tied. So the Thunderbirds and the Fever are pretty well tied for. They've got them as two and three, but there must be a if this is, would be that the. Thunderbird and Fever would be playing each other anyways. It would be the Vixens and the fourth place team is the Lightning. That's the uh, Sunshine Coast Lightning. 
and yeah, they have 20 points. And it's like you not and if you're the Melbourne Mavericks, I know they're not having the season they kind of wanted. Because uh, I've seen them a lot in the loss column over over this over the season, and they're only uh, they're not only four points behind the uh, West uh, the West Coast Lightning, so they still have a chance to make it to the semifinals. But they're through eleven games, they've only won four and they've lost seven. And yeah, there's there's sixteen points, twenty. Let's see, 20 is the, the West Coast Lightning, so they're four points behind, so they can st they still have a chance. Now, as far as the uh, the NSW Swifts, the, the Cambridge, they're getting down to main map. We'll, do, we'll see how much games are left, how many rounds are left, because uh, they could be pretty well. They don't tell you the... If they're eliminated from the semifinals yet, but the also the Melbourne, no, the, sorry, the Queensland Firebirds, Queensland Firebirds, through eleven games, have only won three and have, have a total of twelve points. Actually, when I'm looking at and I'm looking at the Giants netball, the same eleven three and three losses, eight uh, three wins, eight losses, twelve points, so. There's still uh, a slip. It's still okay. We got uh, still a chance. Okay, even if let's see how many. Um, let's see uh, the fixture. Fixture and upcoming matches. Okay. Okay, we got upcoming. That's round twelve, if I remember correctly. Okay, round twelve. Yeah, so we got twelve. Okay, we got third round thirteen, fourteen. Okay, fourteen rounds. Is that is that is that it? Fourteen round fourteen, and then it's going to be the. Looks like it's going to be the. Okay, it looks like they got to round fourteen. Okay, so with okay, so a possible okay, so we got we got uh fourteen that would be four point four eight twelve. Okay, I guess there's still twelve points up for for grabs because if I look at the results on eleven and then go down to where's number 10 uh, 10 yeah 10 okay okay so what is it the 16 so 16 points are still up for grabs now we're looking and looking I gotta look back at the ladder okay go back to the ladder so there's still Okay, even with the 12 points, okay, 12, you can look at 12, with, let's see, even if the Swifts went outright, the Swifts got 16 points, and that will give them, let's see, they already have 12, that will give them the 8, so 6 and 2 is 8, and then 26. So that gives them twenty six. Okay, even if it, even if all three teams like the NSW Swifts, Ernie, like this is the scenario they're in, because this would mean that the the the, the fee, even if the Fever lost all their games, and if if the Fever lost all their games. And the and and the Swifts, Firebirds, and Giants won all their games, which they can't all do because they must have they must well even if one of the even if one of these three teams go undefeated and and the Fever, the West Coast Fever and the Thunderbirds and the Vixens lost all their games, they still would they'd still be in the semifinals because. 
there's they they can only be the only team they can uh, uh, eliminate is the the Sunshine Coast Lightning. The, that's that's it. That's all that's left is there's the only the only prize they got is left is to the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Now uh, here's how. Okay, here's here's the one case scenario. It can be where the Mavericks. Okay, if the Mavericks get 16 points, so 16 and 16 is 32. They could okay, and then the long and then the Sunshine Coast. They can only well, let's see. They the Sunshine Coast has to win. There are only four. Yeah, there's four. There's only four points, but it just seems that even if the Melbourne Mavericks won every game. They might not be able to do the uh, see the fever because the fever's got thirty two. And if the it's close, Sunshine Coast Fever uh, win, uh, okay, so if they don't win any games, any any more games now, if the Sunshine right now, if the Sunshine Coast Fever win uh, this week upcoming week, uh, they they're guaranteed a semifinal spot. These two teams, the, the two teams that are guaranteed a semifinal spot are the, the Melbourne Vixens and the Adelaide Thunderbirds. The Fever uh, has to be the combination of like if the, if the Melbourne uh, Mavericks lose this weekend, uh, that's pretty well it for the uh, Melbourne Mavericks trying to catch up to the sunk uh, fever, because the uh, then there will be the three teams for sh the, 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 the well let's just say that I should say that the West Coast Fever will be joining the other two the the Adelaide Thunderbirds and the Melbourne Vixens in the semifinal and leave and they would just have to uh, jockey for position and the fourth place. To, with with the with the uh, Sunshine Coast Lightning because they're about yeah with that many games left there's only yeah only is it four games left is that if that, if that do that correctly there's only four games left and it looks like these uh, okay so you look at it yeah four points for a win uh, yeah the Vixens got ten they got forty points so yeah so. Yeah, so the Vixens, the Thunderbirds are pretty well guaranteed. Oh, wait, actually, uh, they're pretty well guaranteed. The, the Mavericks would have to win outright, and they would have to lose. And then, ah, uh, yeah, okay, that, that, that's, yeah, actually, I forgot, the Thunderbirds only got 32 points also. So the Thunderbirds and the Fever, uh, they... Can they? It's a matter of. Here's the biggest thing so far. Okay, what I need to see is the. Let's see the fixture. Because I'm looking to see results, and I gotta see if. It, you know, it's best to, right now. It's a now is the time you do it with. I can do it all teams. No, do it with just. The, let's see. The Mavericks. Okay, just the Mavericks. Okay. Okay, so they lost. The, oh, see, they already lost to the Thunderbirds. Now, okay, so the Mavericks lost to the Adelaide Thunderbirds. And then... They beat... They, they won over the... The, 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 the uh, Queensland Firebirds, oddly enough. Okay. Okay, so the Melbourne Mavericks did the matter. They lost to the Vixens. They're not. They, they, okay, this, okay, if there's a tie scenario, the Mavericks did beat the Swifts. Okay, so they beat the. Okay. They beat the Firebirds. It's. Mavericks right now. Yeah, see, this one, they. So they already lost to the Thunderbirds twice. So. It's they've lost them twice. They've lost to the ooh. 
Oh, one game, one, one, one points. This is so. Remember back in round four, the Sunshine Coast Lightning sixty four, and the Mavericks sixty five. Oh, that was a huge. That was a huge win because for the Mavericks, not only it was a huge win for the scoreboard, but they they beat the Sunshine Coast Lightning, which I was they corrected. Are they, well, this is the because can they tie up, or is it the fever? I, I should have. Somebody didn't have more tablets so because the, all the scenarios I'm playing is that like the Mavericks. I don't think they can beat out the Lightning, but they did win that game once against them. So they did, but they lost to the Fever. And, and you know, if you're gonna lose the game. Lose for the Mavericks. I think if you lose it to the NSW Swifts, might like you know, you might. You never, you never. Well, they first started off the season, and they lost against the Vixens, and then they lost against the Swifts. See, the Mavericks should have beat the Swifts, probably. I mean, they should have won the game against the Swifts, probably, maybe, sure, but. Well, there's, yeah, because there's a, I'm just looking at all the scenarios right now. It's, uh, okay, so, what I think I should look at is, uh, okay, so the upcoming, the Mavericks play the Lightning. Okay, that, not, okay, okay. Then they play the Giants netball, which, I don't, man, I think, I think they need to win anyways. They need to win, and then the West Coast Fever. Okay. So they're playing the West Coast Fever, the NS, the, the, the last game, the round 14. Okay, but here's upcoming. Okay, they have to win. They have no choice. They have to win and against the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Okay, so what I'm looking at is going to be is the ladder again. Now look at the ladder again. Okay, now look at the ladder again. Yeah, the yeah, they, oh, oh, wow, this is a huge, oh, wow. Okay, um, yeah, well, the, like, the Fever and the Thunderbirds shouldn't really be too scared. I mean, I mean, what, you got, dang, 16 points up for grabs, and I don't, I don't think I don't think they have a chance to catch these two teams, the Thunder, because they've lost. If you go to all the tiebreaker scenarios, and then, uh, oh, it, it, it's it, you know it's it, in a strange way it's it's only the Melbourne Vixens, a hundred percent guaranteed they're in the semifinal. Adley Thunderbirds, I mean, I, I, it would just take some. Uh, I I don't crazy miscues and quiz, but it's just even with the head to head, head competition, they probably still be ahead of the Melbourne Mavericks. And if the Fever lost out, the, 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 I, the here's the there's another problem, Ernie. The Melbourne Mavericks can they catch up to the West Coast Fever? Well. The yeah, other, it's once again, it depends on me. Okay, so the Melbourne Mavericks and the West Coast Fever. Okay, what I should go, I should have went to more than one tab for this. Okay, what I should have done is more than one tab. Then I can go back and forth on the tabs. Okay, so got the two tab system going here. Okay, so. And then I'm gonna look for the okay. Which what I'm gonna do is look. What am I on the ladder, the fixture? Okay, I'm gonna look at the fixture. And then only one team. Okay, the Melbourne Vixens. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The, the uh, 
Mavericks. Okay, so one team. I'm telling you, look at one team right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, look at the Mavericks. Okay, so they got the Lightning, Swifts, and the Fever. Okay. Uh, okay, here's this. Here's a scenario that could happen, possibly, where the Sunshine Coast, sorry, the West Coast Fever. If the West Coast Fever lose games in round twelve and thirteen, if the West Coast Fever loses games round twelve and thirteen. And the Mavericks win games in round 12 and 13. It just so happens, Ernie, that in week 14, the West Coast Fever are playing the Ma Melbourne Mavericks. Now, okay, now what, let's see, can I, I'm trying to make something out of this. Okay, let's see. Round 14, the West Coast Fever and the Melbourne Mavericks. Now, the whole scenario is if the West Coast Fever lost both games, upcoming games, and the Mavericks win both upcoming games, can this game mean anything? Okay, now, they're both, if I'm, cor if I'm reading correctly, they're both tied for the same... Amount of point, so I might no, I mean, sorry. The well, they're tied with the same amount of points with the Adley Thunderbirds, but the Adley Thunderbirds are not playing them again, so they probably uh, I'll check to see how many they won. So it's a possibility, okay? So with three rounds left, Ernie, the Melbourne Mavericks could get a possible uh, six. Was it three? Four, wait, 12 points. No, four, eight, 12. Wait, how many are. No, it can only do. Wait, round 12, the other four points. Round 13, it'd be eight points. Round 14, it would be 12 points. There's no 16 points, Ernie. There's only four, eight, 12 points. So. There's, there's no chance of the Melbourne Mavericks even overtaking the uh, Adley Thunderbirds or Fever or tying them. I should have said, there's no chance. I had that wrong. All that, all that talking I did, and I got that wrong. There's, there's no chance of the Melbourne Mavericks. Catching up, uh, tying the Adelaide Thunderbirds and Fever on points because this game would have it would have been amazing. This game would have been amazing if it would have determined the possibility of like team. But then the Lightning, let's see, the long word. This is the way it's such a crazy, it would be such a crazy scenario. But it's not meant to be because there's only 12 points up for, for uh, up, up. there's only 12 points left. And you got to win all three games to get the 12 points. So that's the Melbourne, and then if we ever have to lose, wouldn't matter anyways. The only thing is the, is if the, the 12 points, the the, the the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Okay, if the Sunshine... Here's how we also we could work. The only thing is that the Sunshine Coast Lightning, well, 12 points, they could tie. They have currently 20 points, and so they would be able to tie the West Coast Fever and the Adley Thunderbirds. Now, it wouldn't matter so much... It would just be that they don't get to play the Vixens in the first round. That's that's the positioning, the one and four. Because then 
the Melbourne Vixens are playing. They won't know who, but the Adley Thunderbirds are for going to be. Looks like they're going to be hosting, possibly. But they'll be in. It looks like at least the fourth place. The Adelaide Thunderbirds are guaranteed a fourth place if they lost every game so far and stayed at thirty-two, because the the the, 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 the West Coast, like yeah, this it's just you know it comes down to like this is what it comes down to, Ernie. Should have, could have, would have, and you can't. Turn the clock back. The game's already been played. You know the uh, score settled. It's it's and you know it's like you just it's it's just like back in back in the day in school. Like you know, no, you can't turn the clock back. You pretty well late. You're coming up to the final exam. It's too late to go back and oh, if, if only I would did that better on that test than that test. No, it's too late. It, or if you know, oh, I need to do better on the final exam. Well, it'll be too bad. That's the that's the way it's it's done. It's over with. Now, when it comes to like this, the netball, uh, it's, it's should have, could have, would have is not gonna help. There's so the real this twelve twelve. For the Swifts to get into the play, to the semifinal, they're in fifth. There's a, the rest of actually the rest of them. I mean, like they would. It's just there's only one way. It's 12, 12, 12, 24. Now, okay, they can actually. There are some slim chances here and there, but they're so they're just so slim in asking for a team to win all right. Like for the teams that are are in, uh, with twelve points, the three teams with twelve points, they it's just asking too way too much. And you gotta, and they gotta hope that the Melbourne uh, 32, 30, yeah, 24, they, they, they only, they'd have to hope for the, uh, the Sun Coast Lightning lose all three games and they would end up 24 points. And they have to win all. And then they got the Mavericks, but the Mavericks would have to at least they'd have to lose two because the Melbourne Mavericks are fifth look they're on the outside looking in okay they're in the fifth spot where they're not in the semifinals if it was to end say today but it's got three more rounds to go so they're still 12 points up for grabs at 16 so 28 points so uh I'm trying to see the scenario for eight twelve. So if the Melbourne Mavericks won every game and the Lowborough Lightning only won two, they would be tied at twenty eight. But it's just a matter that then it would be they had to, then it would be all the stats to make and who would be in the uh, semifinal. Well, there was a chance of possibly losing to the. Melbourne Vixens, but hey, you played all season, give it a try. But yeah, the, there's it's not even let's see, forty two. You know, you know, I I forgot that first place is kind of still up for grabs in this scenario, also because the Adelaide Thunderbirds, thirty two points, and the, and the Fever thirty two with twelve is still could get 44 points. Okay. They could tie the Vixens, and the Vixens would have to lose all three. 
and they've only lost one all season so far. And I mean, they they're all playing it out. They're they're like there's just they're all they're, there's there, there's uh, guarantees to make like the Vixens are guaranteed to be in the semifinals, but they're not guaranteed first place yet. They there's still a scenario, and next week is going to be even more. So, but let's see that. Well, we we've done enough of the talking, looking at this possible uh, scenarios. Let's see the schedule itself. Okay, and then okay, so the upcoming round twelve. Okay. And it's Saturday the 29th at 5 a.m. EDP. Okay, so that would be the Friday, Saturday, Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning for us. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Melbourne Mavericks against the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're both going to go at it. They're gonna go at it hard and fast and furious. They're gonna, oh yeah, like uh, I just, but I, I, I see the lightning winning that game, but uh, you know the Mavericks. You never know. They've come up from a lot. Let's see. Oh, I got. I should. Go, I should go to all. I should get back to uh, all teams. Okay. I'm just on the Mavericks. Okay. All teams. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, we got round 12. The first game we got is the 3 a.m. game, EDT. That's Saturday the 29th, which is the Friday night, Saturday morning, 3 in the morning. The Adelaide Thunderbirds. We'll be playing the Melbourne Vixens. Ooh, cha 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 cha. That's for first. This is for the fight for first. And, I mean, th this is like the first place. Uh, I do you say like scramble here? Like they really kind of. Wow. I mean, uh, wow. I I don't know. I guess the odds on favor are the Melbourne Vixens, but the uh, if the if wow. If the Thunderbirds win this game, they're they're looking for first place overall. They're they're shooting for first place because they say they're going for first place overall. Now, wow, wow, wow! What a what a game to miss! I I know I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm gonna. Wow! Okay, I can't I, I can't. I'd like to be able to watch this game. This looks so, it's gonna look so promising. The Adelaide Thunderbirds and the Vixens. Wow. 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 Jockeying for first place in this one. Okay. And then we've got another second game coming up was the uh, Melbourne Mavericks. And, oh, yeah, a crucial must win over the Sunshine Coast Lightning. They have any chance to make it to the semifinal. They must win. Must, must, must win. Another must, must, must win between these two teams. And one of these teams, if they both draw, draw doesn't help either team in this game, this situation, because they need a win. They need the win. And the NSW Swifts, and they're, like, they, they can have the most impressive run ever, but it's got to start with a, a win, and one of these two, whoever loses this game, uh, that's it. Their, their chances to the sem uh, semifinals is nil. It's going to be nil. There's just no enough points left. They wouldn't have enough games to make up the points. So, yeah, the, lose, the team that loses this match is 100% out. Now, the winner is not guaranteed in any spot. It's just, well, it's one of three to win. They must win. Hoping the whole help from here and there. Okay. But on the other win, too. 
the West Coast Fever and the Giant Snapball. Okay. okay. So, well, that one was at 12 a.m. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see this game. I mean, it's not... It's I, If I had my choice to which one they... I'd much rather watch the Adley Thunderbirds and the Vixens or the Mavericks and the Lightning. This one is like, well, uh, yeah, if it's the only game I catch, it's like, okay, but the, the uh, if they draw, oh my gosh, they both would have had no, ch that's it, they're done. They're both done. Both teams are done if they draw, so they need a win. One team needs a win, and the other, it's, it, a lot of help after that, and, and of course the the fever and the net giant snapball, but I I can't stress it enough on um, uh, this one. The Adelaide Thunderbirds and the Melbourne Vixens, nice game for f trying for that first place finish. The Mavericks and the Lightning, the Mavericks need a win. Keep that. They, well, they could still actually kind of lose one game, but they don't have to win all three early. But it, even if they won all three, they need help here and there, possibly. But because depending on what the Lightning do, but if the Mavericks lose, they they have the slimmest chance. It's just pretty well uh, it just gives the other three teams the three teams that were uh, some kind of hope to make that fourth place it's just that would that would just be that the Mavericks just completely fall apart and never I don't win any games and there's still a lot of difference in the earning. There is still a lot of different scenarios to be played out, and it's it's just still not over yet. So a lot of a lot of exciting games coming up in the uh, regular season of the Australian netball. It's the SunCorp Super Netball in Australia. Now, if anybody wants to catch those games, you might have to look it up. You have to kind of see what you got. Like, I don't know, you know, it, it's not on any cable stations around here. It's just, I don't, know, I don't know how to do all those streaming services and all that. So it's like, well, yeah, like hopefully you can find it. Like I said, if you... If you have the Ernie, I'm kidding. Like, if you if you get the game, hey, uh, uh, I definitely would like to know how, uh, how you found it. No, I don't care. It's not. It's too late. It's, but what I'm saying is, that, yeah, you know, you just you can't. Uh, what are you gonna do? It's it's so unexpected, Ernie. I guess you know to be interested in netball out of nowhere so um yeah i never got a chance to like yeah, to find a way to get all these games and it's just it's just it's just so hard to find these games and uh, i just well hopefully it's they say coil freebies maybe it's part of the coil coil freebies We'll see. Okay, ready? With that, we're going to go to uh, surfing. And surfing in Brazil. Okay. It's the Vivo Rio Pro. So, Vivo Rio Pro. And it's the June the 22nd to the 30th. Okay, so let me look up some info on that. Let me hit the old pause button here. And then we'll get the tablet all warmed up. Alrighty, Ernie. Got the old tablet up. Uh, it's in, I got it on the World Surf League. Uh, and it's the, v, it's the Vivo Rio Pro. It's in 
Rio de Janeiro, uh, Brazil. Uh, it's actually what it says is S A Q U A R Scormara, R E M A, Sa, or is it Sacomara? Sacomara, and then comma Rio de Janeiro, comma Brazil. I'm not sure if. But I'm looking at the the surf over there. It looks pretty, like, very tubular, as they say. It looks very tubular. So, the, there is an event this weekend coming up. And they've already started it. And so it's the Vivo Real Pro this weekend. Anyone wants to check it out? There's some surfing going down. So, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see, I can't, I, I can't go on any videos, that's the thing you said. Okay, so, let me take a look, uh, some, let's see, heat draw, as I say, let's see what's going down. So, they got, you got, oh, the men's heats. Women's heats. The opening round is upcoming, and the elimination round is upcoming. Oh, okay. So it's still we haven't started it yet. I thought they've started it. Okay. Just to, here's some names. I think it's, here's one. It's uh, looks like either it's New Zealand or Australia. I can't tell the way the flag right now, but. Ethan Ewing, Cole Holmes Hahn is American, and Connor Mc Connor Connor O'Leary is actually from Japan, and there's Griffin Colapinto from United States of America. It's another Japanese. Kanoa Igarashi, Igarashi, and from Fiji, I guess, Seth Moniz. So there's some names. You got there's some other names. Uh, the Jack Robinson, Ryan Callahan, Samuel Pupo. Okay, so. Looking at the uh, let's see, okay, so the okay, looking at the women's, just throw some names out there. Let's see, Molly Pickham, Joanne Defay, Sire Lindbad. Okay, that was heat one, but when when is it happening? I'm not sure. Well, that, okay, is there like uh, Australia, I guess, Australia, New Zealand, or then France? It looks like France. Jo jo Joanne DeFay. Ah. And then Sire Lindbad. Okay, these are three on the women's side. Uh, this, she's an American, Sire Lindbad. Okay, and then some other names, like just, I just throw names out there. The, the, no rhyme or reason. Uh, Caitlin Simmers from us from uh, I'm sorry from United States of America and uh, from Brazil Tatiana Weston Webb okay and from Brazil also Tanya Hinko okay okie dokie and Caroline Marks from United States and Looks like it's Fiji again. Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. Okay. Okay, so just I just threw some names for no reason out there, Ernie. In case next week uh, uh, when I report on, uh, uh, I at least I got familiar with some of the names. So and that's another one that's going to be hard to catch, Ernie. I would. I have to watch this once again that on a Saturday or Sunday night when it's 
all nice and dark in your own room and you all you got is the light from the television on that's got the uh, surfing I would love to watch this as a it's just uh, there's no way I'm gonna find it I, I'm not gonna find it maybe I will maybe I won't but I don't know I, I kind of I, I just feel like I want, I'm not going to find it. I, I just feel like I'm not, I just, you know, I don't know. I just. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, they got opening round. It says upcoming. Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, they've probably already done. They have already. Well, they've probably already uh, done some rounds already. Uh, this is because there's like heat one, heat two, heat three, heat four. Okay, so yeah. So there's gonna all these uh, from heats one, two, three, and four are looking to get into the final. Uh, that's gonna be on the thirtieth. Okay, so. Hopefully, be able to catch it somehow, somewhere. I'm not sure how. Okay. Okay, we'll hit the old pause again, er Ernie. Alrighty, Ernie got the old tablet all warmed up for snooker in England. And it was the, uh, still coming up. We're still ongoing. It's still ongoing. It's the... Uh, Part of the, it was part of the championship league, I guess, in the the Bet Victor Championship League, and I'm looking. Okay, so June 26, 2024, the championship league coverage. Okay, let's see. A second. Alrighty, Ernie, up on the uh, good. Uh, the, looks like a really good website here like on the Bet Victor. I, well, snooker.org is where I get my information first, and then after that, I'll try to find it on a different uh, site. Okay, so the Bet Victor, the championship, championship League Snooker, and it's the, let's see, it's looking at it now. It's, okay, so it's the, what is it, Bet Victor, Championship the championship league snooker and it's I'm looking okay where are you look let's see let's look to see home okay we'll go to the home first so it's at the morning side arena in Leicester it's from June 10th to July the 3rd of 2024 so it's gonna be next week I'll have to wait to probably finish off uh, wait for yeah so I'll, next next edition of World Sports News with Ernie will be on July 3rd because that's when we'll do we'll have that this will be over with and okay so the stage one is okay so it was stage one was at the 32 groups of four players with Two groups played each day across two tables. The player who tops each group's table will progress to stage two. Oh, okay. Wow, stage two. Then stage two is the 32 group winners split into eight further groups of four with two groups per play played over two tables. Okay. And then stage three is the eight group winners split into two final groups. Okay, and then the final, which will be July the 3rd, will be the two group winners play a best of five final to claim the title. Okay, so wait, so stage three will have the eight group winners split into two final groups okay so there'll be four in each group okay 
So what happens? Okay, so after stage one, stage two, like like you start you start they start eliminating from thirty two sixteen down to stage three. Uh, so so there's thirty two there's thirty two uh, uh, snooker players uh, at stage one, Ernie, and then on stage two it gets dwindled down to sixteen, half go half disappear. And then after stage two there'll be the, the stage two uh, have four uh, four groups and it and then stage three will d go down to half again because then that will be the eight eight snooker players left in the tournament from of a 32 from stage one and then that will be in two groups of four Ernie and then, the, say like Group A, Group B. So Group A, a winner of the four, and Group B, the winner of those four, will play in the final. Which I'd, lo I'd like to see it happen. I'd like to see... But uh, that one's on a Wednesday. Or is it on a Wednesday, I guess? Yeah, so... But stage three, I think, would be on Saturday or Sunday. I like to watch a game once again early at night time. I don't like to be able to see the night. But, well, they play at night, so let's see. Okay, yeah, July the third is stage three also. Oh, they're going to play the stage two. Which July, the stage two? July, June the 28th, stage two. Oh, July the 3rd to play stage three and the final? I thought the final would be another day. Okay, I didn't realize that. Because stage three is uh, July the 3rd, and the final is July the 3rd also. Oh, okay. Uh... Wow, they... They might, I guess you play all day, I guess, but I, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. I thought like the final would be the match would be its own like separate day, but oh well. Okay, uh, maybe I'm reading it incorrectly, but anyways, so that's coming up. So because Snooker will be finishing up on the uh, July the third. Uh, we're going to do our next uh, World Sports News and Conference with Ernie on July the 3rd. And, well, mostly Ernie because, you know, it's, I think it's easier that way. To, to That way we could get uh, Snooker off the board there. Because oh, I could I could do it next Monday or Tuesday. Eh, but then, you know, it's like, well, then Snooker has to stay up longer. And, uh, well, the thing is, I'll have to find new sports, too. Like, I don't know, I'll play, I'll see, I'll see. Well, surfing will be off the board next week. Uh, after One more week, because then, well, England, of course, Nepal will have the England, Australia. One, okay, England will be up one more week. The, the Austria, just... It'll be Nepal, Women's, Australia. That's it. And then after that, we'll see. Because surfing will be off the board. And then snooker will be wrapped up. Unless there's another good tournament coming up right, right away. But right now, I'm going to have to be scrambling for find some events uh, in the next... Uh, edition of World Sports News and Comments with Ernie. Or upcoming events at least. Something to report on. Okay, well, I, got, I got lucky so far with Netball being able to cover such a long span. I mean, Netball's been up there for such a long time. since Well, obviously since uh, eight, 18 weeks ago at least. Because that was... How many, round, how many rounds were there? 18? In the uh, Netball for England? The... Yeah, I got lucky. I, I 
Yeah, I've been I've been lucky to be able to keep up the those uh, the first one up there, netball women's uh, England. I've been lucky to keep up netball for uh, such a long time now. After this, the men's probably don't start till winter time, so it's kind of I'm not has uh, World Sports News and early. Yeah, I definitely will be looking to see to add that. Oh, uh, uh Australian rules football, well, Ernie, it's just, um, I don't know, I mean, it's still too, it's too early. All right, we'll go to, well, we'll go to our next uh, story. We just have to hit pause because we're going to have to change this board. We have to change the board there. All righty, Ernie, we're going to go to the sailing and the sail GP. Uh, which happened the June 23rd and 24th, New York, in the U.S. of A. And, Ernie, I watched it and uh, pleasantly surprised <laughs> that Canada, well, I know you're an American, Ernie, I understand, but, well, we are broadcasting in out of uh, Canada. And, yeah, Canada did pretty well this time. Well, they hosted... Uh, the previous event, they hosted the Halifax uh, Harbor in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in Canada. And it's a, well, Canada did a second place finish, but but this one where the uh, Canada did really well, like they did really good for themselves. Well, we'll get to the get to the results because. This is, the, the finals are coming up. It's in San Francisco. And, uh, and what happened was there was... Okay, so we have... How does it work? Is Here are the... Here's the finals so far after, after the... Um, the New York event. In first place is New Zealand, but their captain is the captain is Peter Burling. So first place is New Zealand, and they ended up with ninety three points, which uh, that's cool, quite, uh, that's cool, that's quite a bit. And in second place, Australia, and. They ended up with 78 points. And then third place, Spain, 76 points. France, in fourth, with 71. Even with that good showing this upcoming weekend, Canada is in, was ended up with fifth place, 67 points. Phil Robertson is the captain. We number six was was it the Denmark seven was a Great Britain Emirates GBR uh, Great Britain and wow quite the drop off from the United States to fifty one and Germany thirty five and then the Switzerland thirty three that's quite the drop okay so that's the season championship. Okay, so how does this work? How does, uh, how does, who's, okay, I gotta look, I'm trying to see. San Francisco will be the next one. It was a lot of fun to watch, Ernie. I, I had a DVR, I, I did the digital video recording. You know, I watched it at nighttime and it was nice and dark out. And, uh, and just laid back and, Watched the uh, sailing and it was it was really nice. You had New York City skyline in the background, the Statue of Liberty. It it was very very nice, very very nice to to look at. And so the final is coming to uh, the grand. Okay, the sail. Okay, the sail GP season four grand final is in San Francisco. And okay, let's see. 
Uh, it's 17 days from now. Okay. It's at least 17, 17 days from now. Uh, okay, so that will be the Sale GP San Francisco. Now, what I'm trying to look to see is... Okay, where is... I, I need some info on this. I need I need event info. Okay. Uh, okay. So like, who? I, I, it's all new to me, Ernie. Because of world sports news and comments, this YouTube channel I started, and how it just morphed into this. I never would have probably watched surfing and like the way I am now, and trying to at least, and now are realizing that I actually like to watch these things. Like and the sailing, but the technology. It's 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 about the better like twenty years ago I wouldn't have cared because the TVs were small, of course, and pixelated hey, come on, the picture wasn't as good as it is now. Let's let's get realistic here. There's no there's no way there's no way anybody can say, I'd rather have an old T V Yeah, you can have, go go have your old T V back. Oh I'll tell, tell you what, if you can, I'll trade you an old 12-inch television for a 30 for a hundred-inch brand new one, okay? If you want, and like whatever. Oh, I'll even try to find one of the only possible 40-inch television. I've seen one. A two. I've actually I knew someone that bought one back in the day. A 42-inch tube television. The thing was huge, the Ernie. It was huge, and it was only a 42-inch picture, which is not that big by today's standards. That was one of the biggest mass-produced uh, tube televisions before flat screens came out. <laughs> and that just changed the world. And, uh, okay. So, well, how, how do we get out to that, Ernie? Is it sailing and surfing are becoming very watchable sports on television now because of the, the if, especially if someone has a, a oh wow 65 an inch television and above oh you're looking at wow or even a 55 inch television in a small bedroom which is, that's that's big because you're close up to the tv you get you're up close to the tv so uh it's it's a big picture okay so Okay, okay, so the f uh, following the 13th, okay, the sales season deciding, okay, grand final, okay, that's going to be in San Francisco, okay, okay, so there's 13 events, okay, okay, this, this there was 10, uh, F fleet, I'm trying to see, okay, this is, we're in their fourth season of Sail GP, which I never would have thought. Wow, fourth season. Okay. Okay, so then. Okay, so this says that five fleet races will take place across the two day spectacle, propelling the top three teams into the winner takes all grand final showdown. The Alto battle will begin with national pride and incredible prize money in line. Okay, so, uh, Tom Slingby, uh, Australia, is can he secure a fourth uh, consecutive sail GP victory? So I guess he, I'm, I'm gonna take a guess that he must have Australia as, as uh, must have won the last three. Okay, so, okay, I'm trying to see how it works. Okay, so the, how does this work? Like how many? I mean, like, who gets to Google it? I just, uh, I gotta see the. Okay. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, am I am I gonna have to go to their like say go to a Wikipedia page or something to find? I I, I still haven't figured out the. Maybe I need to look at it better. Okay, let's try it again. Okay.
Okay, so sale GP in San Francisco. Okay, now. Uh, let's see. What, what is. Uh, I was just trying to find. Like, how does. Okay, share some more. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure how many, like, all, all, everyone gets to race, because, like, what was the point of the whole season if, if you get the, you still get a chance of winning it at all? How many, like, well, uh, I'm not sure. Sure, how it works out. Hey, uh, I was just kind of I'm trying to figure this out. Because the race, it says race one day is Saturday, and then race day number two, Sunday, July the 14th. And we're gonna have races at 1, 5, 2.30, and 4. I have, I'm not, I, 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 I'm gonna, I can't figure out like who gets to participate in the final right now like all of them get to go to San Francisco like what, what was the point of having all those teams you think some teams would be eliminated and and like kind of like okay I gotta figure this out okay let's see Now, okay, so, well, yeah, I was, let's see, okay, so, uh, so be P standings, well, we I seen that, and I'm just, I'm just kind of, like, not sure, Health facts, okay, I've seen that already. Okay, I, I, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for the sale GP because I just want to make sure. Like, I, I just haven't figured out what. Okay, background, racing, scoring, crews, past winners, okay, terms, okay. Okay, so we're almost, we're coming to an end of this season, and okay, number of teams is ten right now. Okay, and let's see. Oh boy, uh, I, I'm gonna have to this. I'm just I'm just gonna have to end up watching it and see how uh, works out because uh, just thinking that like if you're like the the like say like uh, United States and uh, you still got a chance to winning the, the ultimate prize of two million which I'm kind of like hmm kind of like what was the point of all this regular season stuff then like who, how does that work I, I just don't know who gets to advance like what teams are getting to advance and which team uh, like is there there's just no eliminations like like is this I'm not sure uh, I guess I was I was expecting some kind of playoff system and like, I, I just, I'm totally like, well, we'll see, we'll see how it works So, Okay. And, 
Alrighty, ready? Looking up the odd sports search. Okay, now the Snell Racing is July the 6th. If anyone is actually interested, the Snell, I am. <laughs> I, I actually am interested in the Snell Racing, Ernie. I know you are, too. And and uh, Felix over there, or you call him Rubber Ducky, uh, is uh, kind of, we both, uh, both kind of got bets on it. <laughs> okay, so we weren't supposed to tell, sorry, wasn't supposed to tell you, Ernie. <laughs> Okay, so that we are so we just we are just gambling for fun. We're not not I'm not taking advantage of Felix. He's taking advantage of me. He knows the score better than I do. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna say is that the that was July the sixth. The uh, snail racing uh, it's gonna happen in England, and I looked for this week's odd search. It already happened because it would be the third week is. A, a June, so it's every third week of June. Is this? It's called Cal Cal Calico Fior Fiorentino. Fi Calico Fiorentino is is also known as Calico Storico. Okay, I, okay, which means historic football. And it's Florentine football, soccer, a very weird kind of soccer. Okay, so it is a, an early form of football, which was developed in the 16th century Italy, which was 1500s. The game was believed to be a revival of the Roman sport of Harpastium. Harpastium. I never heard of it. I, I never actually heard of Harpastium. So they're showing it. They're showing an old photo of ni 1960, and and the one guy's kind of running with the ball. So I'm not sure if you're allowed to run with the ball or not. How does it work? Or okay, so I, I don't even know what hard, hard. Okay, so in modern times, there are three matches which are played every every year. And it's the third week of June, so it's already happened. And there's a team from each quarter of the city. Okay, so. So there's like, okay, so there's a whole bunch of teams. Uh, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a whole mess of them. But after playing each other, the final two teams will proceed to the finals. Okay, the okay. Okay, so the game starts when the Polly the Polly Alio throws the ball to the center line. That must be the ref. The players must then try to get the ball to the Opposing team's goal, which is called the, I can't pronounce this correctly, C A C C I A, the the ca the casia the casia, like house maybe, which is actually a four foot high wooden wall that runs the full width of, at each end of the field. A score goal is called the. Casilla, and the team with the most Casilla at the end of the match wins. Okay, so the players must then try to get the ball to the opposing team's goal, but that doesn't exactly. That's not exactly. Uh, that's not exactly explaining much of the rules here. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. What I'm gonna try to do is I got I got it on I got it on, uh, on copy right now I pasted it I'm gonna copy it to the uh, search engine and what I'm gonna do is see if I can get other uh, websites that will explain this event better than this one is doing it it just kind of fell short uh, explaining it okay like. 
Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay. Top end sports is the first one. Okay, the okay. I'm gonna go to the Wikipedia. Oh no, it's in Italian. Wow, I, I'm not sure. I, I, uh, it's too bad. Uh, I, I need it uh, in English. There we go. In English. Okay, in English, please. English. Okay, historic Florentine football. Historic Florentine football. Also, this is from the Wikipedia. It's also called livery football or costume football. It's a team game with a ball filled with air, which echoes a game which in Latin is called heart. Potassium. I never heard of heart potassium. It could be considered as a forerunner of the game of football. Ooh, okay, although at least in the fund it's fundamental. It is much more reminiscent of rugby, with a side dish of hand-to-hand -hand clashes between boxing and wrestling. What? Is fighting going on? Wait, boxing and wrestling? What? Okay. 27 okay this is really 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 strange the rules okay oh boy if it's deeply wow the rules of the game as ancient as foreign Florentine football have undergone notable changes over the centuries nowadays uh, the game is played with very specific rules that hark back to those of the 16th century okay uh, okay, the rules of the 16th century were sum summarized in regulation of 33 articles. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure... Okay, so the number of players is 27 on each side to distribute events 5, 7, and who are 4 in front and 3 behind and 15 runners and 3. Okay, the players are chosen for this purpose and described in the list, nor can be added or changed. In place of the missing before starting about a battle, the Provider must propose exchanges. Wow. Okay. Wow. This game is. I I I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Historic Florentine football. Okay. Oh boy, boy, boy. Okay. Let's let's uh historic Florentine football. I'm gonna try his historic floor. Okay, historic Florentine football. I gotta turn the volume right down. Okay. Okay, this. I I I got I got I got on YouTube here, but it's just that um, I, pr oh, I I'm not signed into you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna probably have a problem. Uh, probably won't let me play it now. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't do the link because I'm not signed in. Oh gosh, I gotta do this all over again in incognito mode okay 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 i got it 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 i got the old tablet and my old tablet is i'm not signed into anything and it just throws everything right out okay uh let's close everything off okay okay go back to chrome here now i have to go in incognito mode because I have to get into YouTube and then put historic Florentine football. I got that part now.
Okay. Now I'm going to get on to the search engine here. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the incognito mode, just so I get on YouTube. My new tablet I'm signed in, my newer tablet I'm signed in, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to do this. Okay, uh, okay, let's see, I just go to, then I go to YouTube directly, YouTube, and, okay, YouTube, come on, please. Okay, historic Florentine football. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna type in historic. Come on, give it H I S T O R I C F L O R Okay, I spelled something's wrong. I just, it's, I, I think it, will uh, will fix it. It's gonna correct me. I know it's gonna correct me. Okay. Yes, here it is. How is it? This is such a weird, weird thing. You, I, I, I think you literally need to, like. Kind of go on this yourself. Like, okay, I can't show. The, I can't have the volume on. And I can't show the picture. But oh, I gotta make sure the volume is down with the squat. Okay. Okay, so. I'm surprised that people would still want to play this. It's so crazy if it's that crazy. It, yeah, it's not a game for this. is It's a tough game playing with physical battles, which is so weird. How. There's fighting in this? Okay, I just don't understand it. Okay, so you got people that are fighting. Not sure about this. I, 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 I'm not okay. This is such a strange. Oh wow! Well, they start off with these festivals. Um. They're all, wow, well, they're all dressed in, like, middle-aged uh, uh, garb. I, I, I'd be the drummer but right now. Uh, play the bugle, play the bugle, the drums, or something like that. I, I, I don't know if I want to participate in this sport back in the day. I, I mean... I'm not sure the the like the fighting part. How does it how does it work in the play? Like how does I and wow. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't think I'll be promoting this sport. It's just too odd and weird. I don't. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just like watching this and just like like you could have literally this like This, there could be like the rules could be so oh on the 24th June they divide themselves but then they are always united by one color we have blood uh, I don't know, it's kind of uh, already it's it, it is so weird. Uh, I, I guess they could try to sell this to a bunch of niche market people, like that are interested in what, like uh, someone that thinks there's not enough height of fighting in hockey can watch this sport. I guess get their fill of fights. I mean, I know it's. I guess it's if anyone wants to look it up for themselves, it's really hard to explain. I don't. I can't find the. An easier explanation for the rules, but like, I I'm not sure what the where 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 the fighting comes in play and why if, uh, why is there fighting to begin with and um like how does it work I just I, I don't know I just don't know <laughs> I don't know what to, to say Ernie um Ernie I I should have looked I didn't I. I guess I should have looked into this sport before I came on the Sports News Review. Uh, because early we I know what Sports News Review, we don't we don't we're not into the violence anymore. We don't well we do watch of course I, I watch NFL football, but you don't. But this is world sports news and comments with Ernie and totally non violent idea of sports. Um I'm just gonna Present it out there. Like I, I thought it was just an odd like soccer uh, game, football more like rugby than actual soccer, because they're they grab they they run with the ball. They have to get over this red brick wall. That uh, this 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 uh, courtyard is really old. It's probably it's really ancient court, and uh, the, the teams of all those players on the teams and. I, 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 like I don't know how the ball comes into play and all that, but I think they should take the fighting out of it. Uh, new rules, a new a new style, a new way of doing the sport, like some kind of rug. I think it's just, I guess, I, 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 I find a way to like. Uh, I don't know. I just. I, I mean. Well, like I said earlier, I, it's it's called Historic Florentine Football. It's in Italy, in Florence, and they played it. It's this event that's played once a year. And if you're not the violence, this is not your sport to watch. It's very violent. It, it's not about the violent, like say, like the the, the it's the the there's fighting in between. I, I'd have to understand. I, I, I'd have to see a game in play to understand it. Maybe just to s maybe like a, it's a game in play. Um, 
Okay, so I, I see some running going. I just don't understand all these people breaking out in fights. I, it's it's kind of odd and weird. This show just the most unusual tackling methods, and I'm like I'm, try, I'm trying to watch an actual game uh, play, and. Uh, okay. I, I, it's 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 bizarro world of sports. Where people are just like. They're just breaking out the fights here and there, and it's just so weird. You got people, like I say, breaking out the fights here and there, and like, wait, how, how, how does any, how does the refs even make sense of all of this? Does anybody ever get sucker punched and all that? It, it's just. So the ball gets thrown in the air, okay. But what I don't understand is the, f the, the I don't understand the fighting aspect of it. Uh, this is so weird. I don't know. I, I don't know if it makes any sense. I don't know. I, I, I'm watching this already. It's just so, so, like, I, I don't know. I, 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 I've, like, like, just, it's, I just stumbled across something that was just really just, it's just insane. It makes no sense. Uh, it's... I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about this. I just don't know what to make out of this. Like, I don't know. This is. I, I I think I'm done watching it. I just it, it's just so weird, and I I really really stumbled across something that I just didn't expect to happen. And because I didn't, I I wouldn't even have brought this up, Ernie. I just that uh, um, uh, it's it's a different culture, and um, I don't. I just I I'm, I I'm just totally shocked by the whole nonsensical thing of it all. So uh, that was a odd, a really like. Uh, 
uh, I'd like to just watch the snail racing over this. I know this a lot. Now, uh, Ernie, uh, Ernie, I understand completely. If uh, if you're if you rather watch this than the snail racing, then you're not a world sports and news and uh, fan like, well, world sports news and comments with Ernie fan as much because. I just have to. St I didn't know it was like this kind of violence. I thought. I thought it was just tackling and. Uh, no, I just. It, 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 it's just. It's it's a very very bizarre sport and. Uh, I don't know. It's just it, It's something that like hasn't really changed. So that's the thing. It's not. It hasn't changed since the 16th century. It's it's the game game's even older than that. But uh, I don't know. The, the, it just seems so the brutality of the whole thing. It's just the odd fighting going on here. It, it, to the outsider looking in, like uh, like us, and he's like, "What? It just like." Like, wait, when do you even care? Why, why do you even care about the ball anymore for all they're doing? Is, like, it, it's just... It, it's just so weird how the the fighting... I don't, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand it at all. And do I try to make sense of it? Maybe I shouldn't. But, uh... Do I? I I'll try it again. Let's see. I'm just thinking of other ones. Okay, so... We... Okay, maybe I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna see this game. Okay, this looks like it's an actual game in progress. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so the, everyone looks all fresh and ready to go. Okay, there's some kind of referee with a red and white shirt on. I guess the because the ball's kind of odd shape. Red and white is the ball. Okay. So, okay, so the referee is going to throw the ball soon. I'm just trying to figure out who are the refs in this game. If you could call it loosely refereeing in this game. So they have to they divide the teams up again. Okay, here we go. We start off. The balls get thrown in the air. And not any punches get thrown, which is so weird. And the guy gets tackled out of nowhere. Now there's two guys there duking it out. No idea why they're duking it out. There's no rhyme or reason for this. Okay, there's everybody around duking it out. And... Okay, now there's like... There's, like, like as if we, we, like, I thought there was a sport here, or some kind of, uh, with the, with the ball. Okay, so. Oh, there's kicks. You're allowed to kick. I didn't know that. Oh, wow, that guy just kicked another guy. Okay, so. Okay, so while this is going on, 
the one, there's a couple of players that are just handing the ball off to each other. And this just, just, I just don't, I don't get what's going on. I have no idea. Okay, here comes the rugby style playing going on. And, um, okay, so the rugby playing st game is going on, but. How do you know if you have a... And this is just bizarre to watch. This is really bizarre to watch when you have no idea what's going on. But for whatever reason, there's a whole bunch of people that are... Okay. Like... The ball is just being handed off to, like, one team is handing the ball off to each other. While you got people fighting in the middle of the ring. Or in the middle of the court. And, and, and I'll fast forward this. Like, where's this game go from there? I guess you get people that are all tuckered out after a while. It doesn't matter which way you throw the ball forward, backwards, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this guy's gonna run around with some team here. Uh, just, he's just able to run, no problem. Now he's running for it. He's gonna try to score. Okay, so he's got the point. Okay. Looks like. So the red team's got two points. I I just I, I'm not sure this. Okay, this is really getting really strange, and after all said and done, the I don't know, it was just a bizarre thing to watch and I'm not sure if I ever want to see it again. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, it's not, I don't know, it's just weird. Okay, how I came across it was really strange too. Um, like I said earlier, I thought it was just some kind of rugby game and meanwhile, just rugby but fights break out on it everywhere. Okay, okay with that Ernie, um, I, I better look up something more positive. Look, 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 I I, I want to see something more happy. Let's see. I mean, this is just this is just brutal. I mean, it, it's just, I guess. It, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's it, it's there, and it just you know what? I just I just leave it at that. Uh. I'm just gonna go to this. I'm gonna let's watch this. Let's just watch the snail racing from 2023. Okay, the snail racing championship of 2023. Let's watch last. Let's let's look at last year's. The world snail racing. Champion twenty the World Snail Racing Championships twenty twenty three. Ooh, this this snails look pretty big. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so it's it's four minutes long, which is perfect. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's have let's just have fun, Ernie. That was too much. That was too intense. Okay, so just wait for the commercial to end here on this uh, YouTube video, and they're gonna have the snail racing of 2023. Okay. Okay, so it was heat number. This is heat number two. Okay, so they pour an equal amount of water on the court, so they're not in danger of falling off. I guess. Okay. Okay, so they light up all these small little snails in the center circle, of course, and and off they go. Okay, with of course. Oh, okay, they pour some more water to make sure they got some hydration. Okay, so off they go, and... Oh, yeah, it's it's very slow-paced. <laughs> well, there's still... Uh, at least there's one... Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six... Six or, or seven... Seven are out of the circle, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's still eight left in the circle. One hasn't moved practically at all. One snail hasn't bothered to move. Okay, so it looks like oh, one is moving. Ooh, okay, we, we might have a winner there. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Wow. Okay, I guess they're showing. Okay, okay, there a lot of snails they removed, but it's a matter of finding the two, one or two snails that actually. Well, it's between two snails right now, and wow, it's anyone's match, <laughs> any snails match right now. Not really, only between these two, that's it. Oh, actually, actually, it's that number one snail over there. That's it. It looks like the winner. That's your winner right there for 2023, which was, let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's your winner, number five. I'm not sure what the number is, but wait, does he have to get out of the zone completely? Okay, because he or she. Okay, they found, they got their winner. Okay. They have their winner. Okay, so let's see the, I'm going to see the comments. All right, let's see the comments. Let's see. I could, I couldn't, uh, I, it was it. I, I could I, I could play the video. I can't play the audio part of it because of the. Okay, so. Okay, so we got world. Oh, uh, showing the snails up close. I can't. What do we? What do? How old they have to be? The, the, what I call like okay so they're good they're talking about it now okay okay <laughs> yeah this race is at a, a, a snail space <laughs> <laughs> I can always see how it was fun. Okay, then there's number 28, number 34, and you, you just, you, you have no idea why a snail will. So it was number 14. Number 14 won the race. Okay, number 14 won the snail's race. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
Number 14 won the race. That was cute. Okay, it's too bad I can't show you what the video looks like. I mean, I can show you, Ernie. You can watch it, but I can't show the audience over there. So number 14 won the snails race. And it belonged, it belonged to some little girl, so sh I don't... Hey, Ernie, you know, that's the thing, Ernie. I, wow, I was... like When I was a kid, I would have loved to have had a pet snail and enter it into a race, and if it wins, you know, say la vie, I mean, you gotta understand, hey, uh, uh, I mean, we have no idea what incentive could be to, for a snail to want to just move, uh, like, some of them, some of these snails didn't even move at all, so, July 6th is the 2024, uh, snail race, and with all that, Ernie, we end on a nice happy note, and so, between the uh what is it the the first we started when we first started off to now uh kind of went really as they say really bad when, when i looked up that odd sport and found out how crazy it was to uh highlight it i didn't plan on highlighting it so i decided to re-highlight the snail racing which is Coming up, July the 6th. Coming up, July 6th. So, July the 6th, which is... Oh, wait, it's two days after uh, the American uh, holiday on July 4th. So, uh, let's see. So, the snail races will be... Uh, let's see. the Look at the calendar here. And... Okay, it's on a Saturday. So, Saturday, July the 6th, and not sure what time it is. So, next program, I'll try to find out the date. I know, you know the date, you know the country, but we'll try to find out the time. And it's probably going to be a YouTube event where um, people can watch the results after. And, uh, well, f then, you know, uh, Felix and I will have our fun side bet where we, no money is being wagered or he, we're just having a fun bet where I'll pick a snail he'll, he'll, he's he, he's uh, he's quite the prognosticator so uh, I think uh, I, I'm, it's a good thing we're not betting for money because I'd lose for sure but because uh, he's better than me than podcast uh, doing these uh, prognosticating and so with that Ernie Let's just say our goodbyes now. So I'm so for for uh, for I for myself for Ernie and least but not forgettable. It's uh, the rubber ducky, but he, that's what uh, Ernie calls him. I on Sports News Review call him Felix for our show. Uh, the Felix uh, picks. Uh, Okay, so all three of us, we're all saying over and out. Don't forget the snail races, July 6th.